Hey, y'all, people. Hey, we're back. Hey. We're back. Ross hey. is riled up tonight. I'm not riled up. Yeah. Oh, he was fired <laughs> up. He was. He, he was madder than I don't know what, but he was madder. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. A cockfighting chicken. Yeah. Wait, I, I wouldn't say I was mad. Uh, you've been angry. You're pretty riled up. Yeah. For what, man? Over some fucking reels of dead people and shit? Like, oh, you, no. <laughs> you're getting fired Maybe. up over all the wrong reasons. The... the I wasn't fired up. Wait, wait, no, hold on. You're fired you're, up about you're, time you're, and you're, texting. You're mi- and uh, yeah, you're not mixing. watching my reels, and I'm you're mixing sending you reels. You, you wouldn't even totally, listen to my song. You are totally mixing shit up. Well, I am mixed you're, up. You're like any freeze and oil pan. Those two two things don't go together. Well, you don't got to worry about your oil freezing. Oh yeah, yeah, that is right. And if you mix the two together, guess what you get? A you milkshake. Get a milkshake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And a blown a motor. <laughs> I ain't blowing shit. <laughs> it don't some matter if it's some fucked up rod dumb. bearings and all that. <laughs> well, the first part John was talking about. <laughs> you know, we're all on the answer. The, right now, the hottest. The gram. The hottest social media out there is Instagram. Is it? Yeah, because it, it has the most ass and titties on there. No, nah, OnlyFans has probably got more. But you don't. Yeah, have to you pay have to pay for, for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's not. social media though. Yeah. So you get free social media. So like. John, Micah, and all, like, me and, like, a bunch of other friends, too. We always send each other videos on Instagram. It's not ass and titty videos. Usually it's, like, funny shit, like, the sweet berry wine. That's how right, we found right. that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no way, Jose. It was all through, like, Instagram yeah. messages. John's gone dark. John <laughs> has entered a phase of Instagram messaging no. that we've all... You know how I know he's been hanging out with Justin too much? Because it's Instagram messages. Exactly. So, like, John's gone to the point where I had to reach out to John and say, John... I'm not. I, I'm not watching, watching your videos shit, anymore. Yeah. We, it went from like funny, like John fishing C. Riley videos, videos, or videos or whatever. like then fishing he was in the videos. fishing craze for a while. Yeah, yeah. It was like funny stuff to now. Like the last 38 messages John sent me is people dying. Literally, the last people one I watched. People blowing up at gas stations. Yeah. <laughs> people snapping legs on trampolines. That's the last one I watched. Yeah. The fucking wrestler jumps off the <laughs> no, top. I didn't even have to watch the video because in the preview, I just see a dude's leg pointed 90 yeah. degrees. So I'm like, I, don't I, like I, that I literally shit. replied to John like, let, let, let me read the video. Let me read <laughs> what I sent John. You see, he's fired up for no reason, man. No, I'm with him on that. It, it, no is, a, it is a good like, reason. It, it's, not, it's not my fault it's they're not sending my me bag. these videos. I want to see shit that makes me it's laugh. It's your fault you're sending me those videos, yeah, though. Well, I'm just letting you know why I'm traumatized. <laughs> We're walking today, and he goes, Hey, man, did you see that one I sent you where the dog ate the firecracker and blew up? I'm like, no. <laughs> no. I like, literally, not. on Tuesday at 6 p.m., I sent John a message. Quit sending me videos of people snacking legs and shit. <laughs> and then he's he's since sent me one. He two, since sent you one? Three. They, he sent me four, four <laughs> videos, which I have not Do they watched. all say sensitive content? Uh, no, they start. haven't. <laughs> one of them, show, one of them is, has something to do with Tropic Thunder. <laughs> that might be that's funny. funny. No, I, I'm not. That's funny. For all I know, Tropic Thunder snaps a leg the, at the end the of the video. The gender reveal no. gone nope. too far. No, yeah. <laughs> some of, yeah a, like, I'm like, now, John, you can sit from now. here until eternity. He doesn't I'll trust pro- you. Not I that he did before. I probably will never watch another video <laughs> that John sends me. I'm like, <laughs> he's, ruined, he's ruined it. He's ruined uh, it. You haven't even seen like half of what I've I know, seen. I know. Yeah. <laughs> hey, now that I think about it, the last... Yeah. Video I watched was him with the trampoline legs going backwards. Yeah. I have not watched anybody else's that was, video since. <laughs> dude, the video before that was the last video oh. I watched, which is some dude getting a cin- uh, uh, freaking incinerated at a fucking gas station. I didn't like, see that one. <laughs> like yeah. I was talking to him about earlier. I seen oh one where God a guy damn. was trying to kick the wood, push it through the wood chipper, and his leg got caught and fuck sucked him that, in. Man. Oh. Why are you watching that shit, oh, John? Oh, fucking... There is one where it's just like, where did he come from? And the guy just smacks the ground. Like, someone must have pushed him out of a plane or something. Uh, <laughs> seen a forklift video where it I did see that. Stop! One. <laughs> seen a oh, my God. Hey, to brighten up this fucking occasion. <laughs> this vacation. What is that? Gluten-free. Gluten-free. That's good. Sunny D vodka. Oh, <laughs> yes. I, I saw these at Walmart today. I've seen these, but I have not tried Fun them. Fun fact. This <laughs> isn't the first pack I picked up. The first pack I picked up, all Do four I cans. 
You no, drank them all? All four cans fell out of the box onto the Walmart floor. <laughs> oh, so I turned around and grabbed another box off the cooler. <laughs> so I don't know how they 4. taste. 4.5, baby. But I'm like, Sunny, Sunny D, D vodka. I haven't had a Sunny D in a tell while. Me, yeah, tell me this wouldn't be tell good. Tell me why. Hey, are you giving this to me because we're talking about death? <laughs> no. No, but think of, you think a Sunny D is a kid's drink. Oh, goddamn, right? that's good. Oh. It tastes orangey. Dude, drink four of these, you'll be shitting yourself. It tastes like a screwdriver. All right, almost. here we go. I'm going to give it a shot. I like high noon better still, but that's hold just on, my first sip. It tastes like it, sunny it D. It smells citrusy. It's got an orange scent. It says, here we go. Uh, here we go. Contains alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Oh Something. yeah, that tastes like orange crushed soda made with. Yeah, dude, juice. you drink like four of those, and you, your face will be tingling. Uh, yeah, no, I could drink those. Yep. Four and a half percent alcohol, zero grams of sugar. Wow. I would say maybe like one or two, maybe. Let me see how we feel. Dude, John, I'm, what have you become? Imagine being like in like the back in the day where we actually drank oh, Sunny Back D. in the day. Oh, I got a fourth one, so whoever wants it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ross. I brought gifts. <laughs> Thanks, man. Speaking Merry of, Christmas. Speaking of gifts. Did you remember my Dale Earnhardt Funko Pop? It, it, you're like it's fucking not, low It's kid, not man. Dale, so Son you're going to have to find bitch. a different spot for him. Oh, let's see what we got going on here. That's officially. Have you ever got a Funko Pop inside of a Funko box? I have. I got three of them this week. God, leave me. I thought I did something cool. It's the other part. <laughs> <laughs> it, nice. It, it's the Wrangler Dale. It is, because I already have the other one you bought me. Yeah. That one was actually cheaper see than that the other one I bought. that spot up there, right next to the driveway? You should have got something somebody else. I left that spot open because I knew this was supposed to be here three weeks ago. They had a Jeff Gordon one with the mullet. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> yeah, he had the mullet, though. Actually, I don't hate Jeff Gordon. I don't like Jeff Gordon, but I don't hate Jeff Gordon. Would you hang Jeff Gordon on your wall? I would. Yeah. You would? I with would. a noose? That's, that's, that's dark. That's hateful, man. I've been John, seeing a lot see, of these. He's in all that dark <laughs> shit. <laughs> fuck, John. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm trying to fucking kill uh, shit, man. Dude, what, those what videos do? got me fucking you thinking walls Instagram. are going to fall and crush me. You need to delete Instagram off fucking your fucking phone. Fucking cars are going to blow me up. Give me your up. phone. Give me fucking, that shit. No, keep my phone <laughs> over here. <laughs> we need to delete that fucking shit off Fucking tires are going to pop off a car and smack me. I'm scared to death to go outside. Well, You can't live afraid, John. You see the, the videos deal. I've seen. I'm scared to I've death. I've seen shit. Why would you even open anything <laughs> yes. from Justin? It's always a dog's balls or his no, ass. Dog it's, not his his, balls. it's not all his fault. I just think it's or how him it thumping started. a toad's nuts. Like remember he, that he, one? Yes, I, I quit watching me, his stuff yes. years he ago. Sent me a couple horse dark dicks, ones. like I just zooming them. into his horse's dick, and I'm like, now it says. I've muted them on on social media. Every single one of them that you've like, looked at, like yes. deeply analyzed. It, as soon as it says like content, whatever sensitive content, still you have to press the button. I alone, press it, man. and I go, "Oh my god!" And then well, another one on you because oh you my pressed god. it. You know, yeah. god damn, I know, John. but it doesn't show you the highlight. Before You're the you dumbest click dumb it. person I know, man. Why oh. would you watch a highlight when it says sensitive yes. content? That means it's I something graphic. See. I want to see. But you, you don't sound like you want to see it. Hey, I'm sorry. <laughs> that shit has You know got you're going to be disappointed sketched. once you see it. Got like, me sketched the fuck out. Then why bro. do you have to lump us into that shit? Yeah, no, yeah. I didn't know you didn't want to see it. Yep. Now I know. To, uh, John, or Michael, why <laughs> don't we watch Hosh.0? Oh and why don't we stop watching? Or ridiculousness watching? and yes. all that shit. And same thing with Jackass because they because started breaking into, shit. They turned into compound fractures yes. and gay shit. When bones <laughs> and shit and yes. throw up starts coming out, I'm done. Like, yes. I, okay, if the guy trips, like, that's funny. But if he trips and his fucking face gets ripped yes. off, no. that's not funny. Like, uh, Tosh.0, oh, remember the sensitive nips guy they had on there? <laughs> he was like an old, like fifty-year-old oh, dude who you could yeah. pay to come to your house, and he would be all oiled up That's... in a fucking speedo, and just like rub your nipples and shit. Tosh Point oh, literally the last show of Tosh Point oh I watched, it went from a dude snapping his leg on a skateboard yeah. to the guy lo- uh, oiled up in baby oil, laying on another dude rubbing his nipples. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I like, could, yeah, this no, show is no, too much. <laughs> He lost headphones his headphones. He's throwing his headphones. <laughs> my headphones just, I, I'm so flushed my headphones came yeah. off. <laughs> He's talking about baby oil and some nipples. Baby oil and, lost and it. snap compound fractures. That I, don't do it for me. Right. I like the, the, the Tosh.0 oh days where it's like Froggy Fresh on there. You're like, Froggy Fresh, Krispy Kreme, yep. 2012. Yeah. You know, that shit's Old Krispy funny. Krispy Kreme. I remember Krispy Kreme. I am the baddest of them all. Yep. That shit's funny to me. 
Yep, mm-hmm. not broken legs and yeah, dudes and Jerking baby oil rubbing off their nipples. Stuff. Yes, that's you don't not like cool. broken toes and stuff. No, mm-hmm. man, dude, I think like, we talked about like this that. multiple broke, times. Yeah. We talked about this. Ugh. We talked about this. <laughs> dude, <laughs> that hurt a little bit. We talked about that multiple times. Nothing get, lets the rage out of an individual you know more what? than someone stubbing their fucking pinky toe on the. What table. blows my mind is he's fascinated by that, but he's fucking freaked out by a butthole. Yes. Oh, nasty ass. Yes. I would much rather. <laughs> I'd rather look at ten snaps of yes. a butthole than to look at the legs you should, breaking. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you show me hundred buttholes no. before Fuck. I see a bone yes. sticking no. out of the leg. Yeah. Uh, I don't like yes. look. No, man. You want no stinky butthole. You can't uh, smell it through the phone, damn it. <laughs> you can imagine the stink, though. Smell me through the phone. <laughs> John prefers sniff. fucking fake titty nipple scars over fucking... Uh, buttholes. Buttholes. I don't like buttholes, man. Who likes buttholes? You like buttholes? Ross likes buttholes. <laughs> More than I like fucking <laughs> compound fractures. No. <laughs> that uh, We were talking about... The broken legs, no problem, whatever. Uh, but I see a spider or something. No, I'm no, like, no. You're oh, t- God. Yeah. No, the fucking spider fucking yeah. gives me the yeah. creeps. Your dog shits on the floor and you're oh, fucking... Oh, <laughs> fucking nasty, bro. <laughs> fucking nasty. It's disgusting. God damn, John. <laughs> you need to get your shit together. Oh, right? Nothing like some stank, dude. Oh. This nasty stank, old booty. <laughs> You guys got Fritos all over my damn table. That wasn't me. I was eating that Doritos. Wasn't me. I wasn't eating Fritos. I was eating the Doritos. That's y'all. That wasn't me. <laughs> I did have one or two, but I didn't. You ate eat the whole bag of Doritos. <laughs> well, you, mm. I, you said you bought them for me because you gave me shit last time. It's not even Tuesday. You're starving. No, I'm not starving tonight. What's that did you have some Tuesdays? quinoa tonight. I had some Subway. <laughs> what's, some what's, Subway. What does that have to do with Tuesday? Tuesday, he says that he doesn't eat because. Like it's just dinner's not oh, served. Oh, dinner, dinner, uh, fend canceled. for your, fend for yourself Tuesday. <laughs> dinner's canceled. Like, I, you, you can't the fend kids, for yourself. The kids and her, like she will get them like macaroni, or she'll make herself a bowl of cereal. And I come home and <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing. She made. did post. Every I think Tuesday. it was on uh, Snapchat last night. That y'all had steak for dinner last night. Yes. Yeah. You see, uh, you, know, you don't have it anymore. No, I can't. She took it. a picture of John's uh, food. She's like, you think your steak's big enough? It was literally a steak. <laughs> With three <laughs> mac and cheese noodles. No, it was, it was <laughs> oh three, three little sliced potatoes. Like the t- oh, it was potatoes? Potato slices. It looked Finally like Vel- three. It looked like That's Vel- all that was really left. It looked like Velveeta shelled macaroni <laughs> and cheese. I'm small. like, literally, John, like, it's supposed to be like a one-to-one ratio with <laughs> steak and mac and cheese. It was and a it was plate like, of it steak. Looked, it looked like three little shells of mac but and cheese. the steak <laughs> wasn't as big as it appears. There was sure. a decent sized bone, and there was a couple decent layers of fat. Mm. So it was like a giant. You gotta ass put that eye. steak in the air fryer, man. But that motherfucker was massive. You gotta, put that, you gotta put that shit in the air fryer. Why? Have you ever had air fryer steak? No, but I don't think it. Could Why fit would in the you if you have a grill? It's too big to go in the air fryer. I'm gonna tell you, an air fryer steak is life changing. No, nothing beats it on an old grill. It does. Fire flame. I I was anti air fryer for the longest time. No, I got an air fryer. I, I like to beat stuff. my meat on the grill. And I bought a steak. <laughs> Nobody can beat mine. I bought a steak, and I bought... I can't remember the steak seasoning I buy. A lather Montreal. Boost. Country Boy? No. It's literally... Lower, I think Lowry's? it literally... No. I don't know. It literally says, like, steak seasoning. Yeah, cream of sun, young boy. I put steak seasoning on both sides. <laughs> turn it up to 400. Six minutes each side. 60? Six. Oh. What kind of steak are we talking? Like, you know, sirloin or New York I'm strip? I'm a New York strip kind of You're guy. You're a stripper? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the ribeye is pretty decent too, though. I like ribeye's I, I, got I, I, always got fat. To me, steak is steak. <laughs> no, it's not. So I get ribeyes and New York strip. You you got to get better at putting meat in your mouth and knowing the difference between uh, the kind. Oh man, I like cube steak, not tube steak. Cube, <laughs> cube steak. <laughs> cube steaks. It's true. I like when you take in you 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 flour it up and you fry it. Yes, that's that's country good. fried hamburger steak. steak. See, yeah. Yeah. I haven't had a ribeye in a while, but Ri- a ribeye's um, good because it's got typically we get guy. like some fucking cheap ass, the cheapest steak the you can chewy get. shit. Sir but Lord, we yeah. bought like half a cow and had oh, a slaughter, yeah, yeah, so yeah. like we got a crap ton of meat, and I'm actually getting good, good cuts of meat now. Absolutely. And I'm that kind of guy. As long as it's not bloody and as long as it's not burnt, I'll eat anything between the two. So. But so. the sti- but the six minutes each side in the air fryer, it makes it like a a medium medium rare. Yeah. So oh, well, Danielle cooked my steak good. and my steak last night was good, but it was still mooing. Like it was still. How'd she cook it? Uh, rare. No, on a grill. 
Uh, she oven. pan pan seared it. Pan seared. Okay. I would say pan. Uh, I would say the air fryer is like a, between the pan sear and the grill. Right. Like, but you don't get like the good. steak. It's going on the grill. It was good, no but it was, it was it was good. I've it was never a rare. cooked anything on a grill. Are you kidding me? I've never owned a grill. Mm. You fucking take your man card. That's a game changer. Like I would do it. But I don't need a grill, man. You are a Yankee. That's right, Yankee yeah. boy. Yankee sh- doodle. You can't ah. see it, but I literally looked. I gave him the desk there and looked him up and down. Like you know bitch. what? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you've, you've, <laughs> never, you've, you've never even grilled his a red, fucking hot dog. His red I, I've, credit used, score. I've used somebody else's grill, That's but I've never sad. grilled anything you on my gotta, own. You, gotta, you, gotta you know, grill. you said you've never grilled. Period. I don't have. I don't have a grill. You got I've been to I've been to someone's house and say, "Hey, can you get put these hamburgers on the grill?" And I've sort of like got them on there and got them started and. No. <laughs> yeah. True story. I, I've lived my life. I know my life. You're a fucking Yankee, for yeah, sure. Yeah, man. You've, no probably, you've never Floridian. worked a smoker before? You ain't no friend of mine. <laughs> oh, <Nope>. my God. <laughs> nope. <laughs> His redneck cred has gone down. If you want to buy me a Traeger, I'll, I'll learn how to use it. Dude, you don't have to. You can get an old cheap fucking uh, Weber. charcoal burner. Don't tell me what to do. I said you can. I didn't say you have to. Get a propane grill. You want to buy it? Well, I'm get you you White elephant next year for Christmas. This year, one, buy, me, one, buy me a grill. One burger a re- grill. <laughs> 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 you can at least say, I had a George Foreman. I would give you that. Like, yeah, I grilled a burger on a grill at George Foreman. That, I would give you that. I don't know, man. That's still not really grilling. You know. As a guy who's no, never grilled before, that's, that's not that's, a grilling. That's more of a grilling than yes. putting it on a pan, though. Like, I'm actually very disturbed by this new finding. Like, I thought not catching a bass was bad, but damn, you ain't even grilled Maybe something. this is the year I totally redeem myself. You, you, you need to go get you a fucking <laughs> trucker hat. I have a grill at my house, like for the NASCAR party. You're grilling your own damn hamburger. Yeah, and cut your sleeves you off. You know what? The NASCAR party, I'm grilling all the food. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, going to be fucked ass yeah. It's, gonna it's so all going to be undercooked fuck. or burnt. Fuck, man. <laughs> I'm just blown away by this. Yeah, thing. dude. I've never needed yeah. one. You need like you, one. like you, you call yourself one. a Southern country boy here. I, you, when, when have you heard me say <laughs> that? I've never heard him say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you consider? Don't put words in my mouth. You Southern country boy. Uh, he has a New I'm England a Southern country. country. Okay. I'm, I'm a honest. Southern country boy. All right. He's a Northeastern Yankee bastard. Uh, That's yeah. what he is. <laughs> Fucking real that. slim shady, huh? Yeah. Fucking <laughs> New Englander over here. What do y'all? Marky Mark, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's saying I'm not a true Southern. This motherfucker Boston. doesn't like ranch dressing. Who the fuck is this guy? That's not necessarily That's, a that's the nectar yeah. of the gods yeah. down here in the Southern. No, it's You put not. ranch on everything. Sweet tea is. You I, don't drink yeah. that. Sweet tea. See? Sweet tea. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, sweet tea. That's the nectar of the gods. I'm not from here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Fuck you. Up get north, out. y'all make guzzle white shit. We don't yeah. do that down what? here. Yeah. yeah. Clam what? chowder. Yeah. yeah, the chowder is that yeah. chowder? It's chowder. Chowder. <laughs> <laughs> the red or the white, my man. Hey, how about you put some fucking onions yeah, on see, your Yeah, see, I told you he's angry tonight. I told you he's yelling at me. Yeah. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, yeah. fuck you. <laughs> you don't know how to grill, so fuck you. Yeah, fuck I don't know you, how man. to grill. I just never wanted to grill. How? How? <laughs> I'm just fucking flabbergasted. Uh, I really am. I'm appalled. Shit. I'm let down. You're not Paul. You're Micah. Yeah. I, I had to help Ross catch his first fish. You didn't you help speaking, of Paul, <laughs> speaking of Paul, Paul would be disappointed with you too. Yeah. I don't give a shit. A Paul would be a Paul. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you should. I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Uh, I'm so confused with all these drinks in front of me. I can guarantee you, like, if the electricity gets shut off, Ross is dying first between oh, yeah. us, two, well, us he'll, three. He'll, he'll try to start kill a fire. Us. No. He'll try to kill us to eat us. He don't even know how to grill on a fucking fire. <laughs> yeah, don't from. worry. He can't cook us. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that hard. <laughs> it's a good, uh, you, uh, you're going to struggle, buddy. <laughs> you, talk like, you talk like it's difficult yeah, to you, put you, something on a fire You grill wouldn't it. know. Well, if it's so <laughs> that hard, why have you wasted your whole life not even trying? Go cook me something. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about wasting Come my on, life girl, not Smith. trying. Why buy a grill when I don't fucking need a grill? What kind of man doesn't grill? Right! That's just what men do. That's what I know. (laughs) Men fart, men fucking (laughs) men grill, okay? (laughs) Like, what's wrong with you? What the fuck are you doing? (laughs) Fart fucking and grilling! (laughs) (laughs) That's just what we do. I'm going to Walmart and buy a George Foreman tomorrow. You need to. I will 
will give you like if you at least George Foreman. And that's not like I was, that's indoor grilling. I'll give you that. <laughs> like I am so disappointed in you right now. I, you have you, no but, idea. To me, you, I've never you needed a grill. grill outside or under like a fucking screen or I don't have any of that. Something. Just something. I don't put have it a outside, screen. Put it in your garage and I'm then not, open the garage, pull it out, not, grill, put, put it, it back garage. in. John's the least mechanically inclined person yeah, here. Know. He knows how to no, grill. I can grill well, and smoke. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, hey, I'm pretty good at smoking. I've had your grilled pork at your house. That was like a fucking shoe leather. Well, that was, that well, was smoked. more than you did, and now it's grilled. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. It's grilled. It wasn't smoked. What? It was grilled. I think because I've grilled it and I've smoked it. Oh. I, I've taken ribs and thrown them on the grill. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can do that. Yeah. Come on, man. You can't talk shit I'm not about coming me. on men. Yeah. <laughs> you might as well if you've yeah. never grilled. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> My gosh. God damn, man. Like I when mean, the Titanic's sinking, they'll say, women and small children and boys, you'd be getting on the lifeboat before us. I'm, I'm all about survival, man. I'm, survival. I'm, I'm living. You, uh, buy me a Traeger. You don't a, need a, you don't or need a, a green a, egg. That's not even grilling. You okay. just that's like cooking in the fucking oven. Yeah, that's all yeah, about me, man. No, don't walk away. No, you yeah. need a grill. No, we don't tell me what I need. I, you need to. You need to buy me a grill. Yeah, I don't need to do nothing. <laughs> yeah, see, you, you can't hit me with what I just told you. This, yeah. this gets you an old fashioned Weber. I don't want an old fashioned. <laughs> An old fashioned weather. Yeah, I think you do. <laughs> Dude. That's, that's, yeah. that's the problem is you need to learn how to put meat on the grill. Yeah. You if you put some meat on the grill, you might put some meat on the grill. You know what, you I'm, know saying? what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Boy. <laughs> yeah, man. Fucking yeah, you won't be so angry I, all the time. I'm not yeah, angry, right. man. What do you, you how, are. how do you make hamburgers at home? I don't make hamburgers at home. What kind of You man? never eat a hamburger at home. I don't know. Oh my God! This he has not lived at all. Because I've never cooked a hamburger at home. Yeah, because you've never like grilled anything. I don't need to grill anything. You've never grilled chicken. chicken. You're right. Yes, no. fish. Fish is not everybody. Crock pot fish, chicken but. or oven baked chicken. It. Ross, <laughs> quit letting me down. Man. I'm not letting you down. You're letting us down. I'm I not letting you down. I I'm, I'm perfectly happy with cooking my shit in a crock pot, in an air fryer, in an oven, or on the stove top. This motherfucker's a pavement princess over now, here. Now, see, the crock pot throws me off. Oh, the crock pot's like the second coming that, of Jesus, man. That thing <laughs> is like... Sit and forget it. I figured you'd be a griller before you'd crock potter. Yeah, like, yo, crock pot. I can't put something on the grill and go to work and come home and it's done. No, but you can. <laughs> but you can sit out quick, on the though. back porch, drink a beer. I don't have a back porch. You have a slab. Yes, you do. You have a little slab. You have a concrete slab. A six by six slab. Okay. Throw you a have steak a back on porch. There. No, in the hot oh, ass. No. it's not hot when you get off. I'm sorry, I don't have a fucking screen in back porch like you fucking people. Hey, you don't have to. Ch- you don't yes, have you to have, have a screen in yes. porch to grill. No, yes. you, you got a nice little shed over there. They Dude, gotta, you can put a grill in. The Twinkers I- next door grill in the front yard. No, they don't. I'm not putting it. I, I can't grill in my fucking shed. I didn't say you grill in a shed, but you can. You store literally just said. Store yeah. You literally just, just said you can grill in shed, your shed. Just like you pull that little thing out and you were making little fires for a little while. You could put a grill in and out of that thing. I was burning privacy fencing because the garbage <laughs> company wouldn't take it. I wouldn't recommend grilling with that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably not good to use. Do not use pressure treated yeah. wood oh, as your smoke burning. source. That shit yeah. fucking sizzled. Yeah. Don't say I don't like it. Don't put you. that in your smoker. Dude, there's nothing better than burning four by, uh, pressure treated 4 by 4s Trying to die. Dude. Oh, it, it gets stanky. Dude, like, you literally look at that shit, and it's It'll like... It'll take off. It looked like fucking, like, honey Poison, yeah. burning out of the wood. It's all the chemicals in it. That's the best, keep the ants that's out That's the best it. fire you ever had in your oh, life. Oh, yes. I got, that's whenever I got the fire department called on me yeah. for endangering horses. I was burning fencing material. Fun fact, when you use pressure-treated wood, you don't have to douse it in gasoline. No. It, fire. it lights itself no. up. Yeah. <laughs> you just put, take yes. a burning piece of cardboard, set that bitch in there, and... Four seconds later, that shit's starting if to go. If I lived in an HOA like this and my neighbor pissed me off and they had a wood fence. I've smoked out of the neighborhood I would before. light that fucking fence on fire. Dude, oh. like, not too long after I moved in here, I'm like, I grew up. Well, you raked your leaves in your yard and then you, you raked them all in one giant pile. So you you've barbecued them. leaves, but you ain't barbecued yeah. no meat. Yeah, yeah. It makes like, no sense. Like, fucking like, Yankee. We grew up. The Martello household is like, like in the front yard. You raked all your leaves in one pile. In the backyard, you raked all your leaves in one pile. And then when they're all raked up. 
you just lit, like my dad would light the leaves on fire and just burn the leaves. I did that when I first moved into my neighborhood, and I yeah. smoked out like half the fucking neighborhood. Hmm. To the point where that <laughs> leaf pile was on fire for like two seconds. <laughs> Next, you know, there's me in the, over there with the hose. I'm like, nope, I gotta let this bitch out. I'm like, <laughs> too smoky, too smoky. All it takes is a little breeze, and those yep. leaves just. Yep. And it catches everything. But the privacy fencing, I lit that. I had my little fire pit, and for months, hmm. I put that shit a little bit. Like I had it all stacked up nicely at the end of my driveway. The fucking Nobody garbage man didn't it. take it. They put a little. I, I put the ticket. Tagged in. it, and bagged it. I put the ticket in, saying, "Hey, I have uh, stuff to pick up." That Monday, I got a e- or an email saying the ticket was closed. Come home. Still there. 700 square foot of privacy fencing was still left in my fucking... Or 700 foot of privacy fencing was still in my front yard. I called the lady. She was like, yeah, that's construction materials. We don't take that. But you can take it to the landfill for free. For now, free? Yeah. I was like, well, I drive a four-door s- sedan, ma'am. How am I supposed to take that to the... To the... Uh, Get a trailer. To landfill. She's like... Yeah, you could go rent a trailer from Home Depot. She was like, yeah. I say, like, I completely understand what you're saying there. I was like... So I'm gonna have to put. I literally told her I'm gonna put that shit in the middle of the road and burn it. I didn't do that. I know you cut so, it up and put it in their trash. So for about <laughs> six months, I every Monday I'd cut that shit up, put it in my trash can, and then I burn a little bit in the little fire pit. Hell yeah! Half of it made it to the landfill, so they got it at the end of the day. They got it anyway. Yep. It all goes to the Burning same place. Burning it down. Yep. Yeah. Hey, S- go ahead. Go you go ahead. Speaking of being that guy, I was that guy. You always are that guy. You're that guy that don't yep. know how to fucking grill. My truck was once again at the dealership. Again? Yep. It, did you break it? Nope. What? No. This is optional? This wasn't required? It was required, but optional. Half and half. Months ago, I got to work. Went to get my backpack out of the back seat of my truck. I keep my backpack. Spoiler alert, or fun fact for anybody who's listening to this podcast. I doubt all three of y'all will break into my truck. But if you ever go in the back seat of my truck, I keep my backpack underneath the seat that I bring to work every day. I don't keep it on the seat, so if you look through the window, you can't see my backpack. I keep it underneath the seat. I get to work, go to pull my backpack out of the passenger side underneath my seat. My floorboard was a little Wet. moist. A little moist. Third brake light's leaking. Nope. So I'm like, man. I was like, it must have been from the dew. Because you know in the morning... The Your dude. vehicle's covered in dew. It's covered in dudes. dudes. Yeah. yeah. Dude. And I can't see. Hey, it's covered in dudes. I can't see. Like oh, when I, So when I'm pulling out of my neighborhood in the morning going to work, I roll down the windows. And once I pull out of my neighborhood, so you dudes can see dudes. I put the yeah. windows back up. Yeah. But once you roll your windows down, the dudes roll off the, the roof of your truck <laughs> into the windows. So, I bet they do. Yeah. Dudes, the dudes, man. So I assumed it was the dudes. <laughs> I assumed it was the dudes that ran out like off the top of my roof into the windows. <laughs> In that brief period of time, I had the windows rolled down that morning. So I didn't think anything of it. I remember a few <laughs> weeks ago when we had that front Tra- move in Rachel? where we had like three inches of rain in Tra- one day? Rachel? Downfall, yeah. Like a day or two later, I get in my truck. Musty. Musty. It's the smell of it's like dudes. It smells like a bunch of, it smells like a JV locker room. It smells like a bunch of dry it. dudes. I'm like, God damn it. And then it hit me. I'm like, a few months ago when my floor was moist. It must have been something leaking. Must. 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 Have been. Must. <laughs> must have been. Musty. So I brought it to the dealership. I said, hey, two things. I've already had the truck here four times for the radio. Still showing an error. Fucking Aaron Tippin be pissed. Yes, Aaron Tippin. He's, uh, or that or fucking... Uh, Probably because you ain't got dual antennas whipping in the wind. No, I don't. <laughs> well, the dual antennas are built in one antenna now. It's a, so sing- it's, it's I, a single antenna whipping in the wind. I got a singular wind. antenna. Yeah, it's all built in one antenna. So I'm like, while well, I'm here, I was like, something. I got I got a leak. Like my back, my back went, or my back floor... Driver or the passenger side is damp, this and that. I was like, I think it might be the whack back window because I could see like little streaks coming down it. I was like, and then the radio. I've had it here four times. The radio is still fucked up. Still, Kano, get out of here. Get, get. Still showing error. He's like, all right, we'll check out your radio. We'll check out your window. I get a call from the dealership. Their gas, or their gas, their glass specialist. The leak specialist is the glass company. The leak doctor. He's like, all right, yeah, we looked at it. Uh, your truck has a, a, a defective window seal, back window seal. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we see that you had your windshield replaced last year, so unfortunately your insurance will not cover it 
it's going to be nine hundred and eighty dollars. No, it's not. To uh to fix it, I'm like, don't touch it, don't fix it. I'm like okay. So I text the guy uh at the dealership service department. It's like hey. Your your leak specialist just called me and said it's gonna be nine hundred and something dollars to replace it. He was like, "Yeah, he was like the the windshield, like all the glass isn't covered under your normal warranty. It's covered under uh, the glass warranty, which is a one year twelve thousand miles. You have two years twenty seven thousand miles on your truck, so your insurance would have to cover it." I'm like, "I told him not to touch it." He was like, "Okay." He was like, "We'll let you know when your radio is fixed." So like an hour later, "Hey, your truck's ready to be picked up." So I get there, I'm like, so what was the issue with the leak? He was like, bad window seal. The glue had a leak in it. I'm like, so it's not covered under the three-year, 36,000-mile warranty? He was like, no, unfortunately, Ram has a one-year, 12,000-mile warranty. So I'm like, so you're telling me the glue used during the manufacturing process Mm -hmm. of my truck, which is two years old, 27,000 miles, still within the 3 36. or 36,000 miles. You're telling me the glue that was used during the building of my truck in the factory is not covered. I was like, so, because that glue failed, you're telling me I had to pay $1,000 out of my pocket to fix it? He was like, yeah, unfortunately, uh, it doesn't, it's not covered in the warranty. And since Good thing this is a lease. So I told him, I was like, so you're telling me I, pretty much I am renting your vehicle and I have to pay a thousand dollars to fix it. He was like, "Yeah." He was like, "But you don't plan on keeping the vehicle?" I was like, "Until about ten, uh, 10 o'clock this morning, I plan on keeping this truck until you told me I had to pay to fix it." I was like, "I'll let that bitch leak." No, I didn't say bitch, but I said it loud enough. Like people were like looking at me when I was in there. I'm like, "I'll let that window leak for the remainder of my lease and have that shit become somebody else's problem." <laughs> so I'm like, "That's not acceptable." I'm like, "I need a number to call." He was like, yeah, here's the number for Ram, this and that. So I opened up a claim. They were supposed to call me last Wednesday. I haven't heard back from him yet, so I'm still waiting on that. But he was like, your, he was like, your radio's fixed. Did we fix it, this and that? We let it run. The air didn't pop up. I'm like, all right, cool. Thank you. I was like, I'll, I'll call Ram, open up a claim. I get my truck, turn the bitch on. Air. The fucking error popped you up. You can walk right back in there. I, left, that, I left the truck <laughs> on. <laughs> I walked in there. I'm like... <laughs> he, was like, <laughs> right. he was like, hey, what's up? I'm like, I turned the truck on. The fucking air. That was like the air popped up. He was like, we fucking had the thing running from, for a half hour, this and that. He was like, I'm going to order you another radio. I'm like, this is my fourth time coming in for the radio. The second time I came in for the radio, y'all replaced it already. He was like, I'm going to order another radio, this and that. I'm like, okay. <laughs> While you're at it, get the fucking window fixed. <laughs> but the but the radio came in last week, and he, he's been calling me. He's like, hey, we got the radio. I'm like, I'm still waiting to hear back from Ram. He was like, we will only keep the radio here for about a week or two before we use it for somebody else. I'm like, I've already been up there four times for the radio. I was like, when I come up there for the fifth time to get it fixed, <laughs> I'm going to have you do the, radio, uh, the back window at the same time. So, oh, oh my goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. So goodness what did you do that you didn't have to do? What? You went in on this whole spill like you did something that you didn't have to do. Like you bought something new or you did something different. And I don't know why it was at the dealership. We asked if it was optional or if it was required. I went to the dealership because the back window was leaking. Yeah, but I thought that there was more to this. Like you got something or you upgraded. Or no, they want me to pay $1,000 to fix it. Hey. Even, though, hey. even though I'm renting, pretty much renting their vehicle. Yeah, right. Hey, That's fucked. If they won't help you out, let me know. I my dad was in that line of work for years. I'm not paying a dime to fix that. But I'm saying it it won't be no 900. It'll be like it'll be reasonable. Cuz the they're like cuz to fix I'll it. I'll fucking fix they're it. They're like to fix it we got to remove the back window and if we remove yeah. the back window we put a new window back in. No. That's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit right there. Oh, well, I don't care. They're paying for it. Well, yeah, but then that's bullshit. After all the stank in your Dude. car. Dude, we are and I had so many glasses like when you when the car gets wrecked the body shot but the glass isn't broke but they got to fix and paint we'd have to cut that shit out so they could do their work and then put that same glass back in it's doable well ram said they were supposed to call me she was like when i the lady from customer care called me i told her she made it sound like they were going to cover it this was Good. a week over a week ago she was like actually it was two weeks ago I Today. could see, like, if you broke the back glass. That's already. what I told her. Right. I told her I was like, I could see. I was that. like, I completely understand 
if the window is cracked, say I had shit in the bed that went through the window or cracked the window, I'm like, but or it's been replaced before and the aftermarket was like, glue. On I was there. like, but the glue that Ram used, that the manufacturer used during the manufacturing of the vehicle has failed and is leaking. I was like, why should I have to pay for a vehicle that I'm technically renting, even though I plan on keeping it when the release is up? I was like, why should I pay $1,000 for a vehicle that I'm renting to fix a defect in the manufacturing of it? Good for She's you, like, man. yeah, we're going to reach out. We'll reach out to the uh, to the dealer to see what the actual issue was and how much it would be to call to uh, to fix it. It was like, I'll call you. I'll let you know by uh, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday was a week ago, last Wednesday. So it's been two weeks. You got to follow up on that, man. Well, I did. I called yesterday and they looked up my claim and said, yeah, she says she's still waiting to hear back from the, like, for the RO from the dealership and she plans, uh, she says she has a call scheduled for you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Which was today, which I hadn't got a call. I had a similar deal like that today at lunch. I'm working on getting the granite countertop put in our bathroom after our oh, renovation, yeah, I right? This, yeah. So they come over a week ago, they template it out, they price it, and I pay my deposit, which is 50%, like most normal jobs, right? They're like, okay, cool, we got the template, we got that, we'll start the production, we'll let you know when it's done, and we'll schedule an install. Cool. This is the bathroom that. Yes. Never gets. Never has been finished. It's yeah, about the last four days, hundred five hundred. I've had a piss while I'm looking through the wall at the shower. That's not true. That is not true. But anyway, back to my story. <laughs> I'm looking at studs. You hit a, you hit a nerve there. <laughs> yeah. You probably are looking at studs while you're studs. pissing. <laughs> but anyway, I get this phone call and I'm like, huh. we're at lunch. I'm like, hold on one minute. Let me see what they want. And it's a lady on the other end. Sound like she's in the accounting part department or you hear like in the yes. background and all yes. that in the ear. Yes, but anyway, she's like, "Oh, I'm happy to tell you that you know, uh, the the projected uh, install is February second, and it says here that you have a balance left, and uh, I need to go ahead and collect that the day before we can continue with the production." I said, "Really?" I said, "Uh, no." And she goes, well, yeah, we can't move forward with production unless we collect the rest of the balance. I said, we're not doing that. I said, what keeps you from not even fucking showing up if I pay you in full today yeah. and the job's not done? Like, oh, we wouldn't do that, sir. I'm like. How do I know that? And I, All right. And I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, we're in this together is exactly what I told her. I said, <laughs> we're in this together. I said, I got the money. That ain't the problem. I said, I've already had granite installed in my house, and I've done a lot of renovation work. And the deal is. I've already paid. I pay I, when the work is done. I've already gave you a good faith payment, yep. which is fifty percent, to get the deal going. So right now we're fifty fifty partners. In Usually this deal. it's twenty twenty sixty. Right, I think some of them. Like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, that ten, ten two one yeah. net thirty or whatever. But anyway, ten ten two twenty. That's well, the direct uh, yeah. the the calling number that you call ten ten two twenty. That's right. Whatever. <laughs> but anyway, and she's like, "Well, sir, I just can't do that." And I'm like, "Well, I can't have you continue with this. Yeah. I, I don't want it." Like, if, if, if that's the deal. I'm not paying for a service that's not been completed yet. Exactly. And I told her, I said, you come and you install this granite. I'm happy. You do a nice professional job and show up. I'll be happy to pay yep. you the, the, the remaining balance. That's the deal. And she's like, hold on. Let me see what I can do. And she's like, if you leave us a really good review, we can do that. And I'm like. I'll leave you a Google review when we're done. You're right. That's what I told her. And I'm like, like fucking like, No. Like, you ain't collecting no. on a job you ain't completed. Right. You've yeah. already got 50%. That's good faith on my part. Well, yep. And I was telling him, even if they slop it together. Slop it together. And there's <laughs> problems with it. They're not going to be in a rush to fix it because no. they, they already got their exactly. money. They're right. If you already got your money, like, no, you're going to come. You're going to do a good job. You're going to make sure your message shit's I'm cleaned I'm going to come. Yep. I'm going to come. But <laughs> <laughs> I sent you that DJ video. Yes. Right? Everybody turned around and looked Don't at him like. Don't come. It was old, uh, and everybody Kamala. looked at him like, "Don't oh. come! I'm gonna come!" <laughs> I laughed my ass off, when and I then saw he it. just looks at him like, "Well, shit!" Don't come! Yeah, don't come! I'm gonna come! <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't get paid for the service until you complete this fucking service. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not paying. Get the fuck you. out of here with that shit! I'm not paying you for the HJ until completion. I'll give you twelve bucks up front. You'll get the other twelve fifty when I'm done. I'll give you a good faith deposit. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a deposit. 
But no, I just couldn't believe it, man. I'm like, listen here. Like, what, why would you even call me and say that? Right. Like, I would not. Like, I don't know what kind of fucking rinky-dink business y'all are running here, but fuck y'all. Nope. He's trying to get one on you. Well, that's what I'm saying. You ain't going to get it on me. I've been down this road before there, homie. Yep. This ain't my first piece of granite. <laughs> they probably got like 80% of the people probably pay right then, though. Yeah. Not me. It was sure, says I. Mm-mm. So is that bathroom going to be done for the Daytona 500? Depends on if they show up or not. I'm shitting it no matter what. You can. I have. Yeah. Be- already. Before. Yeah, it's going to be a nice shitter. I've shit in your master bathroom when the water was turned off. Yeah, you did. And it was deep. It was a instant panic when I went to flush the toilet and there was no water in the bowl. <laughs> I'm like, oh my the God. The valve was a runner. I just shit in this guy's toilet and the toilet's turned off. So I had to get on my hands and knees and get behind that toilet, turn the valve on. After you, fl- you wiped her before. This is, oh, I was done. I already had the <laughs> pants pulled up and everything. And I went, So you had to be right there like eye level with the turd. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The toilet won't flush. There ain't no water in the bowl. So I turned the little valve on. <laughs> Once I turned the valve on, I realized it was off because I saw the drip coming from it. Drip, drip. But I let that bitch tr- uh, roll up. The bowl <laughs> filled up. Flushed it. <laughs> turned the valve back off. Pure panic. Hey, no, I, I wouldn't have done that if I wasn't the sitting there and someone was already in there using the other one. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm using the master bath. I got to do it. I'm about to die. Nope. It was like right after you, you probably, moved in. I don't, probably, think, yeah, I don't yeah. think I've shit in either of your toilets. Well, like, I've shit in both of them. <laughs> I, I put a new shitter fan in the one. I've shit in all of John's houses. I've you know? shit on the outside of yeah, his house. You have. Shit on the house. I've shit in both of John's toilets, too, in his old house. I haven't shit in your master... I, next time I come over, I'm shitting your master bath. I have, shit your, I have not yeah. shitting your master bath. You'll this eat house. that thing. Man. You haven't, but I'm sure one of the dogs has. Yeah, yeah the dogs Jenny's shit, shit everywhere. Yeah, Jenny's shit in the bathroom. I, I, you've been in this house for so long. I have yet to shit in your fucking master bathroom. You don't need I, to I'm going to shit in your pool. I don't even know what it looks like. I don't even think I've gone swimming in your pool. Ever. I have. I've never been in your pool. I think I've been in it once. I've never, I never get invited to the pool parties, ever. That's on Danielle. Yeah, right? Like I've, You have a pool. I've never been in it. Oh, a lot of times she'll do shit, and I won't even know it's happening. Like uh, going fishing, and yeah, she says, I'll get Paul and Wendy's coming over yeah. for dinner, mm-hmm. and fucking yeah. her mom. She texted me the day before. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? She is said, going Paul on? and Wendy are coming over sometime tomorrow afternoon for cheeseburgers. Y'all don't ever invite me to shit. That's not me. That's you know what? Me. Once I get the invite, I'll forward the invite to you. I just, I just, I get ousted. Well, my invite was sometime in the afternoon, so the next day, Saturday, I'm like, so what time? <sighs> I had no idea. You were I think I texted her like at 10. She was like, 4 o'clock. I'm like, okay, I have all day to do whatever I got to do. <laughs> right? Like I said, I'm, just, I'm not part of the group no more. I got kicked out. And you then don't Paul. Respond. That's why That's why she don't. But, well, the thing but, is, I think. But, 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 but Ashton's in the group now, so she can respond for me. I think Danielle and Wendy plan all this shit out. Oh, yeah. I'm because sure. I'll get messages from Paul saying, hey, uh, John and Danielle are coming over. Uh, Later on, if you want to come over, I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't get none of that stuff, man. I just get like hey, I showed up. I showed up to Paul and Winnie's house. I don't house either. Don't feel bad. A few weekends <laughs> ago, on a Saturday, I showed up to Paul and Winnie's house for like a hot cocoa thing. Yeah. It turns out it was me, Paul and Wendy, Danielle, some hot and the cocoa, girls. huh? No, John wasn't even there because I think you were doing <laughs> some like butt stuff with your boys. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do what? Wrestling. I think you're doing wrestling stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what? I wasn't doing butt stuff. It was doing like two or three weeks stuff ago. with the boys. Yeah, two or three weeks ago. You were doing, I think you were, you were rolling with some dudes. It might have been a seminar. A seminar? A seminar? <laughs> might, like they're doing, like, it's like instructional. Like, <laughs> instructional like seminars? No, this is where you apply the lube. <laughs> yeah, no. Instructional. John, John loves old seminars, yeah. man. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I had hot cocoa with Paul, Wendy, your wife, and your girls. I think your mother-in-law was there, too. I don't have girls. Uh, oh, Cam. Cam yeah, is not a girl. Yeah, Even though he has girly hair. Yeah, he's not a girl. But, hey, bitch, where are you I don't been? know. He's playing with Barbies and shit. And don't mean he's a fucking girl. Singing Shania Twain and all that. <laughs> You're a Dunkin' Donut. What? <laughs> 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 like the girl. But Mike, I get second hand invitations too, so I don't even get third hand. You know what? Next time I get a second hand invitation, 
I will You're going to give me the second hand? I will, you will get the third hand. Invitation. Yes. That's the old sleeper. <laughs> yep. Mike is going to pop up out of nowhere like, whoa, where do you come from? Boing. Yep. Oh, yeah. We couldn't come over here last week because we – uh. I was we, here. We we scored some last second tickets to Piece the lightning shit, game, man. man. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> I, I I told Ashton, I said, "Hey, you've been pretty good this week, so I'm gonna take you instead of Ross." She looked at me like, <laughs> "Motherfucker, <laughs> if you take Ross, I'm gonna fucking kill you." Is what she you literally said. Told her we just had the podcast. We went to the lightning game. Nah, she's been a sweetheart. She deserved. It's bullshit, man. Yeah. You, if, if I'd have known that you didn't know how to grill, there wasn't no fucking way. I didn't even <laughs> thought of you. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Somebody grilled the pork butt and oh, the, what is it, brisket. They had, yeah. Fucking we got had nachos with Philly cheese. You know when you it? took us to the Rays game I'm with the say, club did, subs? Did you miss all the crucial moments of the game because you went and got ice cream? I saw all seven goals by the Lightning, <laughs> and then the other team scored three. So I saw all ten goals. Yes, it was a, Micah, it was a good night. Micah missed Big Poppy's 499th home run and 500th home run both times. He big went to get deal. Ice cream. He created Papa John's. <laughs> whoop de doo. Like big Who's Papa John's. cheering? What happening? What I was happened? getting my dipping dots, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Big Poppy <laughs> just hit a 499. I'm like, who's that guy? An hour later. What the fuck happened? I just heard cheering. <laughs> Big Poppy just hit 500. Well, when you're at a baseball, <laughs> when you're at a baseball game, back then there was no play cock. It, it took what? like play cock? <laughs> there was no play cock. <laughs> It took nine hours for the fucking game, and I'm like, bitch, I'm starving. Like, so I'm gonna get some of this club food. I'm gonna, t- I'm gonna enjoy it, right? And I missed like the only point scored of the whole quarter. It was fucked up, man. Like touchdowns were happening left and right, man. Like goal, <laughs> yeah, dude. Them, but them, uh, the buck or the the butt? raise tickets I got. Those were good. I dude. had a good time. Like all I don't know eat. shit about baseball, but I all had a good time. All you can drink. It's we had Linda. Remember Linda? Linda, Linda, remember. Linda was Our bringing the beers. Our fucking bartender lady. I remember seven in stretch. Yes. That's when they cut off the liquor. And fucking Linda walks up to me with four, four beers. I thought you might want these. I'm like, hell yeah, Linda. You are correct, Linda. And that was after I just came back with four beers of my own. With John literally got three rounds of nachos on his last third. <laughs> <laughs> On his third round of nachos, he finally figured, figured out, it. I'm going to go up to the barbecue. And like, they threw some pulled pork and some chopped yes. brisket on his nachos. But they were like my Philly cheesesteak nachos. My, yeah. my plate was about to fold, bro. Yeah. Then we had, I drank so that, much Trulies. Like, it was insane. Was then the we had the dudes coat. behind us that we were heckling all night who became our friends. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. They leaned up. He was like, we thought y'all might have wanted these before the seventh inning stretch. We looked back, and they had behind our seats – like lines, like a line of like fifteen full beers. Oh. The guys were like, "We thought y'all might have wanted one of these, so we started stocking up for you guys." You're like, my Thanks, guys, man. Thanks, man, my yeah. crackers, right my there. ninjas, man, my crackers, These dudes. Yeah. So we were fucking lit. Yes, that's when. No, that was the second time we went. Yeah, you we, weren't there the first time. I, you're right. It was for a race. Yes, the first time, it was me. John, Danielle, and I think my family, we had the actual luxury box. So we didn't have like, the race club. Oh. We got hammered in the luxury box. And That's then nice. We made it to Arbordale Speedway in 45 minutes from I almost downtown won, I almost won that night, we did. too. Yeah. Fuck. I was I hammered. I late model race. That was, uh, I remember Love Lady after that. He saw me. He was like, "I remember, like the first time I ever saw you." He asked you about you dr- all the time. Yeah, you were drunk off your no, not Raymond. Oh, the son. Oh, it was. I think it was your Chris, your Halloween party. Oh, you probably. He yeah. was like, "Man, the first time I ever saw you, you were drunk off your ass on the front stretch of Arbordale Speedway wearing a Red Sox jersey." I'm like, "Dude, we like made it from downtown yeah. St. Pete to Arbordale that's, in that's 45 whenever, minutes." That's when it was the Gay Pride Week, and y'all yeah, had we the had headbands. <laughs> yeah, we had the uh, the Rays the, headbands. Yeah, on. the Rays Gay Pride headbands. And I said we were salmon because everyone when we left the game, everyone was going this way. Yeah. We, John, Danielle, were going this way, and y'all just point. I'm going here. Danielle kicked the cop as we walked mm-hmm. across the street to get to my car, and I told John, and Danielle, I was like, "If we point where we're going, we got we got the right you got the right away." So I was c- fucking cutting people off in my car, pointing. Hey, we're going this way. We're going this way. Well, I appreciate the support, man. Like, yeah, man. Y'all got there just in time. We ma- we're we're always the show, man. You was, man. Yep. Y'all were the only ones I had to worry about. Like people went to the race to watch you. They they needed to see Micah, but then they 
they wanted to watch you, but they needed me and John and Danielle there. It's a show. It's a, yeah. yeah. Like everybody you know what has they a wanted, part. But they didn't know it. But we're what they needed. Mm, yeah. You can't have a circus with one line. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We were the monkeys. I'm the, I'm the clown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm the clown. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'd like to think in this circus, y'all were the jerks. Oh, what kind of jerks are you talking yeah, about? Circus me, jerks. What'd you call me? Y'all are yeah. circus jerks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ross is on the unicycle. Uh, yeah, I bet he was. No seat. <laughs> who's uh, who's Frick Bean and Royd or whatever his fucking what? name is? Frick Bean. <laughs> I got my face ripped off by a lion. <laughs> Who the fuck's Frick Bean? Frick, Frick Bean and Roy. <laughs> Frick Bean Frick, and Royd. Frick me. Didn't one of them Frick get like, his throat ripped like, I think Didn't one of them survive like a lion attack? Yeah, something happened. Yeah, that's me. I got my face ripped off by a lion, but I'm still here. Frig Bean and Royd, I love it. <laughs> I don't know the fucking Close name. Close enough. String Bean and Soy. You know the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I missed the racetrack. Yeah. I don't. I have not been to the racetrack once I've, since I've, you stopped racing. I have not. Since I drove the Citrus Speedway and dry heaved out in the parking <laughs> lot when you drove the, the X vehicle. That uh, was the last time. We I had a good the, shot of that one that night, We went too, to the man. Coors Light that party cool. deck in Citrus. Remember that? Yeah, I, I started remember, last night. I remember race. I had to be at the airport at 4 o'clock the next morning. Nah, that's true commitment. And that's I told John man. Daniel, I was like, we're going, to the, we're going to Citrus. We're going to see Micah race. And I drove there. That was awesome. And you finished P2 in the X car. But I missed it yeah. because we went to the Coors Light party deck there in turn two. <laughs> turn and four. I got, turn turn four. four. I got drunk off my ass. I'm Every like, time I went by, I'm like, there they are. I'm so. like, I remember it was like 10 laps ago. I'm like, I'll meet you all out by the car. And I was dry heaving out there by the car. <laughs> <laughs> and then I somehow drove home and made it to the airport at 4 o'clock the next morning. But, uh, I remember it. I had, nah. yeah, I had to go to L.A. the next day for work. Yep. That was a good night. I appreciate y'all coming there. I, that, I hadn't raced in like a year. Yeah. And then. P2 in the X car. I qualified third. I got threw out in qualifying because I was a 16th too low. Cheating son of a bitch, man. Well, my crew chief at that time was also the series director, <laughs> so I had to start last. Start last on a 24-car field and race back up. I think I finished third that night, actually. But uh, would have had a good shot you of winning. You got a podium it. finish. I did. I was happy as hell. I mean, yeah. like, shit, I ain't racing the year, and I... Jump in a car. I've never, I've never raced a sportsman. That's the only time I've ever ran yep. a sportsman, and I did pretty good. That's one of the many times I drive heat in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, man. A lot of those nights for me are blurs. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> just go so into the it. most fucked up I've ever been is <laughs> being at the racetrack and trying to jot down tire pressures <laughs> and, Bro, and staggers, <laughs> trying to read a tape measure, and Bob and Mike are like. Did you say it was an inch and a half? Like, yeah, yeah, an inch and a half after that. You're okay, you should have, should have been there. Like, he was yeah. so fucking confident, too. I'm like, I'm like there's no fucking hey, way. Hey, but you always finish good. I'm like, there's no fucking way. So yeah. Ross would walk off. I'd go by there and measure it three and a half. Perfect. Yeah, they're like, right, yeah, right, you, go, right you go drink in the parking lot now. I'm like, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't worth the shit, and I know it. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I'd be drunk before y'all got there. Ross is yeah. like, shit, I don't, I don't know it. 89 and a half minus 86 is <laughs> inch and a half. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, trying to make the drunk guy read the circumference of the tire before uh, and after. Like, all right, you had, a, you had the blue painter's tape on the on the fender. Well, Ross, and yeah. before he went out there for his practice, I had to make the, I had to measure the circumference <laughs> of the tire and write it down. And then, as soon as he get back, and Bob had that bitch up on Jack Sands. Like, you had to wear gloves because the tires were fucking hot. Ha. I'm out, ha, ha, measuring the fucking circumference of the tire and then writing it down to see how much it swelled. Uh, apparently, I was terrible at it. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you said you wanted something to do. We gave him yeah, something man. to do, and he's like, shit. <laughs> like, actually, yeah. like, you would get out there, like, at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Bitch, I was out there at 11 yeah. o'clock in the morning. Oh, right? I'm not worth Ross it. Ross is yeah. like... Can I go out in the parking lot and drink Hey, now? John, Danielle, and all them are, can we go? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, you're good. We've already qualified. Thanks. You can go out in the parking lot. Hell yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. <laughs> nah, man. Then I'll stumble on it. I'll stumble on in right before the race and get up there by Bob just in case I had to run down there. There's a few times I had to run down there and change the tire during the, during yeah. the race and all that. We might do it again. Like, you know, Ashton, she was a racer. She raced. And I'm a racer. Like, If y'all go to the racetrack, I'll be there every goddamn weekend. If I build a race car, I'm going to try to get her to race it. I heard pit passes went up. 
They're like $30, 30 that's, 35 bucks. That's bullshit. Day, it was yeah. 25 back in my day. The 25 everybody was bitching it was 25 Yeah. Now I, know, it's I like paid 25, 35 back in the man. day. That's highway robbery. And then and if it's a special weekend, it's 40 We need Easy. more We need more transmissions in the trunk of my car. Yeah. We can get some trannies back there these Yeah, days. this drunk guy said, or this <laughs> drunk lady said they have a transmission in the back of that Dodge Charger. Yeah. <laughs> and then y'all look at me like, how is this dude driving his car into the pits? Yeah, we told me I had a transmission in the trunk. <laughs> yeah. We, we have 50, trannies. We had, this 50, we had this 53-foot hauler in the back of the pits and my fucking Dodge Charger parked next to it because I had transmission in the trunk. That's right. Trannies in the trunk. Fun baby. fact, I never had a transmission in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Y'all used to sneak in, not even pay. like. Dude, we had Bush lights and Coors lights down the like the, the sleeves. sleeves of our hoodies and in our oh, pockets. Yeah. We yeah. did, yeah. Y'all were doing that at the old Freedom Factory too. Like they're probably wondering yeah. as they were cleaning up, like, how the fuck did we have high new cans? John in the and pit? Justin missed majority of the fucking. But racing. I also smuggled in like a twenty. Yeah, we pack appreciate of it. We appreciate he it. He keistered a whole case of yeah, peach All the all the highlights of the night, John and Justin missed because they were smuggling. The beers minivan was fucking. Oh, awesome. dude, the fucking minivans. Yeah, that minivan. That, that was the I best think that race. was only the the real the real thing that I missed was that. Yeah. Everything else, I think I saw. Yeah. Like, literally, tried just, to go during literally that Justin sent, sent a text. Hey, when's the race start? As the minivan Boom. is forty feet in the air. <laughs> but that wasn't planned, though. That wasn't. That, planned yeah, at all. it wasn't on the agenda. I mean, like they had a ramp there, and we're like, and you know, the first couple of laps, like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. Well, Last the, lap. Well, no, like in the midway, somebody else hit it pretty good too. And like, yeah, oh, they yeah! Had, they had to hit it one lap. They each the band lap, had to hit yeah. it one uh, one time, and then the last lap, the uh, the course was blocked. So they the two leaders who were battling had to hit it. And one of them hit it full speed. And I think they measured it was like forty feet. Oh, dude, it was like yeah. a Guinness World Record for a Dodge Caravan. <laughs> Motherfucker sent it. Oh my god, like, that was a high, that in the it pair, went above the catch fence. It was like, damn. The, and they had stock seats in them fucking yes. things. They weren't even stock racing seat seats. Belts. Yes. That and then the paratrooper, the uh, paraglider. Oh, the paraglider. Justin's legitimate concern for the Where paraglider who got who <laughs> had nothing to do with the event. He was just flying a paraglider around the racetrack. Got lost in the storm clouds, and He's Justin. Gone. He got Justin off. worried about probably what for weeks him? after that where the paraglider ended up. <laughs> mm. Still ain't come down. <laughs> yeah, because we thought, I was like, oh, I wonder if this guy has anything to do with the event. No, he was just. I work. think. I think he I just look. he just stumbled across a racetrack as he was yeah. paragliding. Like, I, I think that here. was that Malaysian flight two seventy or whatever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow that paraglider ended in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> <It's wild. laughs> Malaysian flight seven two seven. Wow. I took a flight to Nebraska. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Negative been... 20. Right after you told him not to run in a cornfield backwards with yes. his pants down. How was yeah. the cornfield? Uh, we didn't <laughs> see. It. It, corn ain't growing in that weather. It was negative 20. He learned how frozen corn is packaged. They were talking about you, oh, can't, man. you can't have exposed skin for like more than five minutes without getting some frost. Yeah, you got to keep your ass cheeks in your underwear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can't pull your wiener out. <laughs> I couldn't if I wanted to. It was too cold. <laughs> that thing was like ground on the I saw a shadow. I'm tucked inside you, boy. I'm warm. <laughs> <laughs> well, y'all like, decide to go up there as a fucking polar vortex comes oh across God. the nation. And every time they go, it's, it's this time of the year. Freezing. Well, go, to, go in the summer next year. Yeah. yeah. Well, the whole point is to, for the kids to play in snow and well, stuff like that. Well, they did that. And they, also, it was too fucking cold. <laughs> and you Negative also, 20. You also go on a vacation while your kids are supposed to be in school. Uh, it was no, it was Martin Luther week, King yeah. Day. Yeah. It, it was Martin Luther King Day. Like, she only missed one day of school. I don't believe that. Yeah, she missed the Thursday. They yeah. had Friday off or something mm-hmm. like that. Two days. No, Monday, the Monday was off because it was Martin Luther King. Yeah, so yeah. she missed two days, maybe. Yeah, it's bullshit, man. Your, your yeah, kids' education fine. is more important. She got straight A's. No. no was, school, school's a bullshit fucking system anyway. You're I can get it. Yeah. System. They're just trying to fucking uh, mind control you. Tell me shit. what the fuck you needed to know about William Shakespeare fucking singing to Romeo and Juliet. To be or, or not, not to be. be. That's the question. That's the <laughs> question. I'm still waiting to answer. Exactly. Nobody knows. Even school couldn't teach you that. Right. I've yet to use a fucking letter in my math, though. To be right, a piece right. of shit or yeah. not to be a piece yeah. of shit. What's lettering? Huh. What, why does A okay. have to... What, yeah, the know. only skills that I've learned in school that no, translate into the real world is reading and writing. 
Oh, my, basic my, math. Very, very basic math. Like my footwork one, two, from three. playing football. That definitely paid off yep. for me. Okay, yeah, yep. absolutely. My swim move. That's pretty solid. Yep. If you need to get by some homeless yep. people. Pushing through an airport crowd. <laughs> who, was, who was the defensive end for the Green Bay Packers back in the day? Uh, Reggie, Reggie, White. Reggie White. Reggie White. His his fucking uh, – Oh, his little uppercut was pretty serious. No, it was, it's not an uppercut, John. Or was I it Gary Brown? Coming. It's not a swim move. It's a rip move. Right. Rip. Yep. Yeah. That looks like an uppercut. Yeah, I but do that all the time. Uppercut looks like shit. When I'm man. walking yeah. back from lunch and the fucking bushes are in my face, uh. when I'm walking down the sidewalk. Rip move. Yeah. <laughs> I see your uppercut coming from like a mile away. But you tell me. You tell when me you, when you see my uppercut, John. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got time to move and run around before yeah. it even gets to me. When you see my uppercut. You already, the, the roundhouse kick, roundhouse kick well, to the back you, of the head. You been. are not roundhouse <laughs> kicking me. You're like, there ain't no way. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the man. Watch the chips. Dude, pick up my fucking Doritos, man. I would fucking die. <laughs> I'd fucking die. Uh, if, he, if, uh, he, if, he, if he was able to get his Jerusalem <laughs> cruiser <laughs> on the side nowhere. of your neck and right just... Or- Dude, wouldn't that be These ironic? are my Jerusalem inclusions. These are my Palestine stompers right yes. here. Yes. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't that be ironic that a guy that looks like Jesus gets kicked with a Jesus slipper? <laughs> Dude, this would be indented to that the back of your hair. Yeah, that kind of modern day <laughs> Jesus slipper. That's his pal- Palestine pounder. I think these are Dockers. Dockers? <laughs> More like Deckers. Yeah, Dockers. It's like a Johnny Decker. Oh, this oh. one doesn't have the dog shit embedded in the grooves. <laughs> I think this one might have them. You're about to, you're about to catch a fucking leather no, leather strap to the side yeah. of the face. <laughs> <laughs> you hit me with your Deckers, I'll hit you with my Peckers. Dockers, <laughs> not Deckers. <laughs> you got more than one Pecker? <laughs> I'm going to hit you with my Peckers. You got two of them things. <laughs> wait, 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 man. It's going to feel like two of them hitting yeah, you. Here's my rubber one. Here's my real one. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot you like a fucking pinball machine over here. Ding, 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 dong. <laughs> Hold on, let me go to drawer number two. <laughs> you ever seen the pecker chucks? It's like nunchucks, but fucking dildo <laughs> <laughs> Two <laughs> double-headed <laughs> dildos. <laughs> uh, fucking Jackie Chan comes out fucking Bruce Lee, like, ding, ding, ding <laughs> slinging them fucking things around. Fucking there. double-handed dildos. Uh, uh, imagine yeah. getting your ass whooped like you that. Oh, your man. Face just smacked with <laughs> Don't tease me with a good time. Dude, imagine getting your ass beat like that. Oh, I can't. How humiliating would well, that be? And you're, the other end you're holding is the one, too. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my God. Oh, you man. The, I don't know. I swear, you get your ass beat by a fucking guy with oh, numbchuck dildos. <laughs> I got dildos with a chain between I'm them. I'm sure they have them. He just fucking swinging them around. I couldn't be the first. <laughs> I wouldn't even be scared. I'd be laughing so hard. I'm like, <laughs> and you just catch ping, ping. <laughs> oh my god! I can just see it. Dude, we should make a movie. Call we the, should make them. Why does John have two black eyes? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll call them cum chucks. Cum chucks. <laughs> oh man, that's gross. <laughs> Fucking cum chuck Norris over here. John, John, John has sweet cum chuck. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I gotta pee. You make me Chum laugh. Chum scut. Chum cut skills. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come chucks. Come chucks, man. That's awesome. <laughs> that was a great idea. Great I name, know. though. Great name. Dude, <laughs> great we, should, name. we should market our own brand. Uh, let's do it. Sweet Come These things skills. are ergonomically designed. <laughs> For the best aerodynamic flow through the air. <laughs> you, want, <laughs> you want a three inch, six inch, or nine inch yes. handle. <laughs> yes. Wooden or chain. <laughs> right. You want a three inch, six inch, or Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> balls or no balls? <laughs> no balls. <laughs> oh, jeez. I got to tell you, these Sunny D vodkas are pretty damn they good. They hit hard. It slaps. It goes hard in the hardies, man. Yeah, Sunny D. Do we have to do our own. Dude, do we have to make our own dildos, or are we buying another brand? <laughs> I'll stand in and be the mold. You know? <laughs> for, for that, for the uh, two inch ones, for sure. <laughs> You got the Junior, you got the Mica, and you got the yeah, Tyrone. Yeah, so the Micro! <laughs> the it's mic- the Micro! The Micro, the Micro. Do you want the Johnny? The two the two inch Micros. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, then you got the old Johnny over here. The then you got Johnny. the... Um, the Ross, the Roundhouse Ross, Roundhouse Ross with the Jesus yeah. sandals. You can be, you can be in the commercial. <laughs> I'm Roundhouse 
Ross, Ross for the cum chucks. <laughs> 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 then like smacking your friend in the Roadhouse face with Ross a here for cum chucks. <laughs> yeah. And I'm Johnny Johnson. <laughs> and I'm Micro. <laughs> I'll, take the sh- I'll be the sham wow guy, but the next level. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I just, chop high like when gotta it's... have the Billy Mays haze. I can just see like one of the intros, though. It's like a guy, uh, an intruder is trying to break in. Fucking like you got the clap on in the house. <coughs> and then you, you hit him with a cum chuck. <laughs> you, just see, you just see a giant purple dick come out of nowhere and just slide the dude out. <laughs> you see like, a woman walking down in the park yeah. and a guy comes up to rob her and she you start swinging yeah. around to scare him off. Or you can take him to fucking... Uh, Pound Town. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or you can go to the raves and put glow sticks in oh, them man. and just fucking flip them around like a glow stick. But that's dicks hitting stuff. You heard is a dick hitting something. Just like the 70s, you're back in the disco. Disco. The disco. If you're not in for self-defense, you can always use it for pleasure. That's right. <laughs> you, That's what Johnny uses it for. You can fill all your holes. Yeah. yeah. You can even call a friend. <laughs> you know that divot between your index finger and your thumb? John loves that being chafed. Yes. <laughs> that's that's the hammer holder. Hammer Have holder. you seen a truck Hammer pull? holder 3000. A truck pull. Have you seen a truck pull? You can have a cunt pool. <laughs> that's, what, that's what John calls <laughs> the cock. He got him in there to see which yeah. one has the more for, force to pull the other one oh, out. A t- come a war. Yeah. <laughs> come a war. Cock war. Wow. Yes. You have a cock off. Cock off. The Dude, I could go all day. Yeah. I should be like a fucking reporter for ESPN Diocho or something. A lot, of, you, uh, a lot something. of uses for this thing. Yes. Cuck, chuck, or no. Deep, what, tissue, what you ma- deep tissue massager? Yes. You oh, can man. use it to stir oh, your yeah. potatoes. Yeah. Stir the lemonade. All the, yep. We could go on and on. You could use it to check the oil. Yep. Mm-hmm. You got the butt fuck 3000 over here. Like, the, oh, it's a deep ear. You get the butthole in you the... You can use it yeah. as like a tricep thing for your tricep yeah, extension. Exactly. <laughs> yep. You can take them to the gym with you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. Just these things are one each end. Yes. <sighs> You, you know, it all <laughs> makes sense. Have you ever used the Smith machine? Well, introducing the Johnson machine. <laughs> John used them as ski poles, so you, you always know <laughs> where John skings. You see ski fucking poles. yeah, you see fu- <laughs> you see fucking mushroom stamps in the snow from a John's <laughs> from yeah. John's stand. <laughs> fucking tracks. Yeah, fucking mushroom you tracks. Always, you always follow John's skiing path because you yep. just follow the mushroom stamps in the just snow. Just follow the mushrooms. <laughs> John's like, yes, mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mushroom stamps. See where we went with this, man? man. Well, Ross started it off so negative. I didn't start it at all. Look where we ended that, man. Y'all started it. Yeah. You were really mad. Since Bruce, Y'all brought out the negativity in me. Yeah, since Bruce Lee's dead, maybe we can get Bruce Wee Wee to, what? Bruce Wee Wee to do our uh, cum chuck advertisement. Bruce Wee. He's, he's going to stop with the whole dick jokes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can keep going. I'm like the energizer buddy of this shit. Oh, speaking of that, guess what? I was on the my phone call with my manager of all people today, right? And somehow we got talking about... The project like, janitor manager? No, like the guy that actually writes my review. Not but, John? Uh, Not no. But anyway... We start talking about somehow we get on this topic of like cold plunges and how it like regenerates the body and yep. like all this, right? And he goes, "Yeah, it's gotta be forty-two degrees or lower." Yeah, for he's a cold like, plunge. he's like, I think it's like a German guy. His name's like uh, Adolf. Yeah, like Adolf <laughs> Adolf Hoff or something like that. And I'm like, he's like, "Have you heard of him?" I said, "No." Nah, he got a brother named Jack. Jack me off. <laughs> right. 30 <laughs> seconds goes by. Right. <laughs> I'm fucking keeping it in. I'm dying inside. And he goes. Ha ha, I get it, Jack Hoff. I'm like, yeah. I'm like yes! You said it, yeah! I have accomplished everything! I didn't even fucking laugh. Like I quit! This. I'm done! There's nothing left for me to do here! I fucking died. I'm like, who else could tell their manager to jack off? But our old, our old manager wouldn't have picked up on it. Even if it was 30 seconds later, he's like, yeah, Adolf Hoff. And I'm like, oh, have you heard of him? You got a brother named Jack? <laughs> no, 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 with the cold, no, I don't think so. Not with the cold plunge. Oh, Jack Hoff. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
time? Yeah. <laughs> it's like Adam Sandler. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Officer Mihawk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did take off. Yeah. <laughs> He's super excited about that. <laughs> Dude, but how awesome is that? That was hilarious. <laughs> the, but the shit that pops in my head these days is like, wow, that's awesome, man. Like, I've come a long what? way. <laughs> <laughs> I about did. Uh, I'm like, going to come. <laughs> I'm going to come. <laughs> I will say, he's been on it, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't getting on shit. <laughs> no, he's been killing it, though. Dude, dad. Uh. <laughs> the older I get, the dumber I get. <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, I mean, I think, that's, I think that's why we're going places, because we're entertaining. Oh, we're going places straight to fucking HR. <laughs> Wide open spaces. I'm going. I've already been. <laughs> I've already been. <laughs> I've already been in touch with the legal team. So That's what I was like. You know, that James is like, well, you got to be careful. Uh, our jokes are so funny. HR wants to see them. And they Again. go, they also think Chris Farley's funny. Yeah. <laughs> and then Chris I said, Farley is funny. I know. And right. they think it's funny, too. Yeah, and I saw it like, just because I've talked to HR twice doesn't mean it's going to happen a third time. Right. Like, <laughs> You're using my style. Come to us. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to come. I'm going to come. <laughs> <laughs> that was at a wedding. It the was. <laughs> the DJ is the only one just getting after it. Everybody else is looking at it in like, this is like a prissy wedding. Like, Do not seriously. come. There's a bunch of white people. Is it, yes. It, like, these are like highfalutin, like, individuals that, you Do know. Do not come. They probably that was wanted. Donald Trump, huh? Yes. They probably wanted, like, some. It was Kamala, Kamala saying, Kamala. Do not come. Followed, like, four times, followed by. Trump. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is she even alive? You don't even see her ever. I don't know. She's ever. trying to disappear. She should. Um, I saw I that so supposedly bad. Donald Trump has been time traveling. Yes, you seen that too? Yeah. How his uncle uh, uh, accumulated uh, all, all of Nikola, Nikola Tesla's, Tesla's stuff. stuff. I know. I seen the there same was, thing. There's a book <laughs> called Baron Trump's Palace. What? And it's a yes. This book was written in like the 1800s, and a kid's name is Baron Trump, and his uh, uh, what you call it? His mentor is a guy named Don. And the Don Donald Don Trump has time traveled to save us. Right. He saw that the- Hillary Clinton was going to win the presidency, and our whole fucking world was going to crash in the Americas. So he decided to run because of that and ended up winning. The book even talks about a guy running for president. Man, peace so bad. Yes. The book even talks about a guy running for president that didn't have a chance and ends up winning. You were talking about the multiverse earlier. If this isn't what we're living, I Dude, don't know what it is. Dude, time man. travel's Loki's real. Loki's real? Dude, time travel's real. There's a picture of Mike Tyson in 1995 when he was fighting at Vander Holyfield. I remember that. I watched that shit in real life. Yes, and there's a guy in the fucking crowd with a smartphone taking a picture. We didn't have those then. In 95, we didn't even have... But uh, that's what you, you had. Have mail. If you had it, that's what you it didn't was. have no fucking smartphone in ninety five. My dad had like, a fucking like, suitcase uh, like in ninety eight. My in nineteen ninety eight, my dad got his first 1998. phone. Nineteen ninety eight. Window. Nineteen ninety eight. In nineteen ninety eight. And it was like a pack. Like he had to unzip it. <laughs> what it like Windows ninety five <laughs> was like one of the first versions. Windows ninety five. Uh, no, there's a Windows. Uh, it was uh, before that. There was some Windows before that. Like right. one. But, but it, I had an Apple computer before I had a Windows computer. Yes, the old floppy disker. But I'm saying, like, the smartphone wasn't even thought of. But that picture clearly shows somebody in the fucking crowd taking that picture. Have you seen that? I have seen okay, that Okay, thank picture. you. So, uh, yes, we are yes. probably I, a version of a multiverse. Speak for yourself. I'm no virgin. The aliens... Outside of our galaxy. Or no, aliens. they're at the Miami Mall. Did you see that video? Yes. You it s- didn't look like aliens. There's shit going on, though. They're there covering is. up. There was a guy that he claims to have been in the mall and seen it, and he said they were purple fucking beings, and he's fuck- he can't sleep. There's probably also up. the zombie that ate that one lady's face off on that bridge in Miami. That was bath salts. Oh, my God. We're back on these videos again. <laughs> no, John. Like, dude, we're not on any of John's I videos. I saw a wolf pack eating a guy's face while John, he was alive. John, stop. Stop. Fuck. And a bear in a zoo doing the same thing. Guy what, was a giraffe? Uh, he was fighting off this bear and this little well, friendly, his fault for being the bear, bear friendly closure. bear. It wasn't even like a big bear. 
And it was just mauling him, a eating Chicago his face, bear? grabbing him and eating his Justin face Fields while he was squirming. Yes. Like, oh, I can't believe Khalil I watched Khalil Mack it. was eating uh, some dude's face. Fucking Jay Cutler's back. Jay Cutler. <laughs> he was a bear. Uh, who's the other quarterback? Uh, Vince uh, McMahon. Justin Fields. No. Uh, the one that Jim Rex McMahon? Roseman. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Rexy, Rex, sexy Rex, Rex, Rex man. Rex wow. That's what they called him. We wow. got to end this. This is like 11, almost I 11 o'clock. You got to pee? I, I've had to pee for like 20 minutes. You're a Dunkin' Donut. I bet you sit to pee since you don't grill. What? Yeah, yeah. that's right. You know grilling fuck? Yeah. Shut God. up. Yeah. Go to hell. Uh, I've <laughs> already been there. You've probably At had, least you'll get grilled there. He's probably had more meat on his grill than oh, he's put. <laughs> that looks like a fucking grill. That's terrible. Like a crash pad for a set of nuts. That's terrible. Okie dokie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No telling if we're going to be back or not. I don't know. Yeah. Y'all, y'all, uh, the old grill master here says we got to call it a night. Yeah. It's 11 o'clock, man. B- fucking Chef Ross D. It's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. All right. We'll see y'all maybe next week. Who knows? Smack you in the face later. Bye. Cup chucks. <laughs> <laughs>